Okay, in this portion of Alex College Algebra, we will be looking at union and intersection of finite sets. And so it says the sets H and J are given below, and then they give those in set notation. They want us to find the union and the intersection. We want to write the answers in set notation. And so we go down here, and first of all, we have a couple of cryptic symbols. So let's look over here at our notes. And in our notes here, first of all, um, call your attention to the fact that we are going to have the two sets, and we want to do their union and intersection, so we're going to need to talk a little bit about symbolism. Whenever we have uh, the union symbol, we will use this uh, kind of a upright horseshoe. I like to think about this as U stands for union, okay, U for union. And basically what that means that we're going to do is to include everything that is in both sets but we're only going to do that one time only. So we're going to start listing things. And so let's go back over here to Alex and complete that uh, union here. Notice that we have to put this in set notation, just like our electronics tools have to be in a set, in a case. We have to keep our numbers included there as well. We'll separate these with commas. So we start down through there, and the first thing I see is an A. Put it in. Okay. The next thing I see is an... Um, well, we could kind of go through these letters and stuff in order, I suppose. Let's put a B. That's the next thing in alphabetical order, anyway. Put a comma. Notice that we don't have a C. Uh, how about a D? Yeah, we got a D. Put that in. Okay, put a comma. Anything else? Do we have an E? No. An F? Yeah, we got an F. Put that in. Anything else? How about a G? No. How about an H? Yeah, we got an H. Put that in. Notice there that there were a couple of A's, but they only got put in one time. So it's one of everything, and uh, they include everything in both sets, but one time only. So that's how you, how you do a union. Okay. Down below here now we have an intersection. Okay, so this little upside down horseshoe means intersection. And let's get a quick look at our notes here. The intersection symbol, the upside down uh, kind of the horseshoe here, that includes only shared members. So we're only going to look at the items that are shared by both sets. So back in Alex here, once again, we'll have to have a set uh, container, kind of like a toolkit, uh, to put those in. Let's look at these two sets and notice right away there's an A that's in both sets. Anything else? How about a B? No, because it's here but not here. D, and so on. That's it. That's all the ones that are shared uh, by both sets. That's what's known as the intersection. Okay, let's do another one of those just to be sure. Okay, they seem to be happy with that. Let's do one more. Okay, once again, they want the intersection first this time. So we look here and see if there's anything that's shared. Yes, there is. There's an F here that is shared. So let's put that in. Anything else? And you'd have to say no. Now, sometimes nothing is shared. If you had two sets and they didn't share anything, you would hit this. This is called the empty set. And you don't have to put that in set notation. You can simply let it stand alone. So and that hasn't happened yet. But it might, so be careful. Okay, now we're going to have the union. Once again, just start putting everything, but included only once. So we will have an A, uh, perhaps a B. Uh, do we have a C? No. D? No. E? No. We do have an F, but notice there's two Fs, and we include one of those. Okay, then we're going to have an H, and looks like a J. Okay, so this is going to be our union. We're joining together. Union means to unite, means to make into one, basically. So we're going to make one set out of two. And this, then, is union and intersection of finite sets in Alex College Algebra.